Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to something a little different. This is Residents of Evil. This is a project which has been created or being created by the Residents of Evil, I believe is their group. They are a group of Resident Evil fanatics um, and survival horror um, enthusiasts. And they are remaking a survival horror game currently in Unreal Engine. Um, this is a newly released, I think it's newly released, um, demo of what they have so far. This is like a, an alpha version demo. Um, and I was really excited to kind of see this. So, yeah, I'm quite excited to get into this um, and see what everything is uh, about. So, without further ado, let's hopefully jump in to a new game. Okay. So, we have tank controls. Uh, I've got the, the guide open here cause I'm, just to see what the controls are. Shift is run. Uh, e is interact. Q is our interesting inventory screen. Nope, I don't. Uh, R is reload, space is shoot. Okay. I don't think there's going to be any auto aim. You don't have to hold your pistol out either, which is interesting. There was a note, though, um, I've read. Uh, there's a reload button, and um, if you reload too early, um, you will lose your ammo. So you have to be really careful with your ammo use, but... Um, Looking at her hands. What does she keep looking at her hands for, I wonder? Alright. It's got a Resident Evil door feel about it, for sure. It's very, it's very Resident Evil. Like this is like the dining room from the original. Picked up handgun ammo. Okay. Very nice. It's showing there. It does. Uh, okay. I think I broke something. I'm not sure what I did. I was just clicking on things and I picked up a music sheet. Okay. So all I did there was double click that, uh, that icon there. So, no, I need to stop pressing escape. Okay, so, we may have already potentially broken something here. <laughs> um, but you know, it is in alpha, so we ex do expect to see some um, issues with the game and stuff, so. Very close quarter in here, isn't it? I wouldn't want to get um, caught up in here. There's nothing there, so we'll go through the store over here. Hopefully. Hopefully we will. System in this, is there? We've got handgun ammo. Learning about health and stuff at the moment. It's locked. There's an engraving of a moon. So that's quite nice that they still have the, uh, the key system. Obviously, we can't go over there. So. 
We need to find ourselves the moon key, it seems. Was that there before? The chrome flew through the window, it's dead now. Okay, so that's obviously the smash that we heard before. That door's locked, which is fine. Okay, so we need to find a moon key, it seems. I guess left click is... Left click seems like it's also kind of like the action button. Maybe. Oh my god, that made me jump. Holy smokes. Alright. That one did get me. A little bit of a jump scare. Is the, sh the running... I don't know, I felt like the running was um, almost like on a timer. I was holding the run, but I wasn't being able to run. It's a grand piano, so we know what to do here, but I don't want to... Obviously, cheat. I want to be able to find what it is that I'm meant to be playing before I actually pick it up. It's locked from the other side. Okay. So we can just walk past the window. I want no crow. For sure. Say it's, it looks pretty nice, this game. Looks very nice indeed. I'm not sure about the tank controls, but I guess it's keeping with that original kind of resi feel. Um, so what's out on this balcony here? Potentially nothing. Alright, let's go this way first. I think she like keeps doing with her hands a bit weird. I don't know if she's like like trying to look at something. I had to um, reload for very long there. 
There's nothing I can do to open this door. Literally, I pressed load. I don't know. It's almost like the reload animation kind of needs to be longer. The minute I pressed R, I just was pretty much able to shoot again straight away. So, just two secs. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um, I guess this like red flashing light here, I just noticed as I came back, is um, my ammo status, perhaps? So I'm thinking there's probably only going to be two, two pickable items up in this thing. We'll see. Uh... And that I could click on that thing before. I guess I can't go down there. I mean, it is only an alpha demo, so um, I'm certainly not expecting it to be like cram packed full of features and stuff. Looks like it can be opened, but how? It's a bit similar to the um, the night puzzle, isn't it? Gotta put something into these paintings, it seems, for this puzzle. Interesting. Music's quite nice though. Music's quite fitting for a Resident Evil game. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I get the impression one of these animals isn't stuffed. It's possibly just me. But yeah, it's definitely got the feel of a Resident Evil game, which is nice. Oh, okay, so now we've unlocked this door, I guess. Right, so I need to do... Fa, la, so, so it's two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, got a music key? It's not showing though what that does. I don't actually think I genuinely solved that correctly either, so. Um, maybe keys and stuff don't show on your inventory. So it looks like zombies respawn in this game. So... Probably shouldn't... Uh, Spend too much time wasting bullets and stuff on the zombies. Looks like they just get back up after a certain amount of time. But yeah, there's no, there's no way I don't think I can use this key. Moment, nice picture of Big Ben there. Oh no, he hasn't. Oh, there's probably a zombie up above. Was there a zombie up above? I can't remember. You guys know my memory is terrible. There was a zombie there. The running thing is a little bit annoying. That it just sometimes like completely breaks sometimes. And I do kind of feel that it kind of feels like the zombies are really easy to dodge past. That's weird. 
but the game got confused as to where I was meant to be going and what door I was meant to be coming through. Um, right. Uh, I just came out there, didn't I? Right, so that's where I use the music key, I guess. Okay, so we got somebody's bedroom here. Again here. Anything else we can do down here? There's only thing. It doesn't look like there's any other rooms I can get into. This hallway looks really nice though. Like really nice. was the moon key, wasn't it? I'm assuming I can get the moon key from somewhere. But it kind of feels like most things that you can pick up are kind of like highlighted. So... Not sure. I'm not sure. Like the upstairs area looks like it goes round further, but there's no way to walk round. Excuse me. Can't leave. I need to find the rest of the team. All right, so there's more than one of us in the in like the story aspect of the game, which is nice to know. But yeah, I don't know if there's anything else for us to look at or see here. So. Alright, just let me check the uh, the video. The walk the walkthrough video where I discovered the mob from. To see uh, if there is a way of getting the key. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Seems like there is a way to do it. So. It's also. Seems like there's a, a bit that I've missed. So. For instance, 
I just saw this tidbit, which is a green gem. Okay. So where do we put the green gem? I mean, again, I appreciate it's early, it's like early days of development, but um, a map would be pretty nice to kind of see where I'm going. Okay. So put that in there. So I guess I need to find three things here to... I guess I'm looking for three jewels to put in there to open up that. seen anywhere else though where something else I can kind of take it's obviously on the assumption that I've um, done the right thing there take it out and surely the game won't let me put it in somewhere where it's not meant to go. I started looking at her hand which kind of keeps making me think that um, there's something more. on. It's not like I can go through there. these are the jewels be it's a nice camera shot at least I assume there's some more jewels to pick up I mean I don't know for sure. It's literally like spamming the pickup button, but nothing is... Uh, found. Can I shoot the crow? I guess not. I'm a little bit confused and a little bit lost.
Well, let me uh, let me have a wander around for a bit more. <clears throat> See if I can work it out, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. All right, I'm pretty dumb. I found it. It's um, the moon key was right here on this table here. So um, yeah, it was. Uh, can I get past this zombie, please? I don't want to shoot him. So yeah, moon key was there. So now we can actually probably go elsewhere. Yeah, the um, it kind of looks like the zombie AI kind of definitely needs some work on it. Um, a lot, a lot of the time they're just kind of stood still, not really doing a lot. So all things that can be tweaked. Alright, so we've got, we got two um, rooms here that we can go in, this being one of them. Red gem. I see that zombie stood there. Okay, that's not right. But not to worry. Zombies seem to reset quite a bit on this, uh, like their position and their location, so there's nothing that way, which is weird. Okay. Obviously I was too near to the door to trigger it, um, which is weird. Kind of weird. It seems like oh, I'm out of ammo now. It seems like every time I pull out my gun, it's empty. And I need to reload it, which is a little strange. Right, let's go get the other jewel, which I guess is behind the other moon room key. Yeah, the the walking, um, the the door thing is a little bit annoying. Um, I would recommend making it much like Resident Evil, where you can only activate the door if you're actually facing it. So, so I don't think there's any health in this. So I don't think we need to worry too much about taking damage. Because I don't want to say that and it be... Not the case. So, I mean, the kind of zombies kind of like attack. And then they just stand still. Which is a little weird. There's an open slot beneath the statue. I 
this, this, is, this could be like a progressional thing. It's locked. There must be a way to open it. Maybe the statue. So I'm guessing when I get when I use all the jewels or get all the jewels. Um, I don't know, maybe I can use. There's a jewel. So maybe whatever I get out the jewel box will give me uh, something to put in that statue, I guess. Yeah, the, let's say the, the zombies do that quite a lot, it seems. Uh, whereby they'll just they'll try and attack you, and then they're just going to like a standing still animation. Which is weird. Uh, what I was going to say there in the kitchen is like the wrong um, animation, the wrong door animation played for that door. I think it was. I like the fact that uh, there's like different music as well for each of the rooms. One thing that I do worry is though that the because of that the the transition between the music isn't so smooth. I think it would be nice if the transition could be like a bit smoother. Alright, so we got all the jewels. Picked up the emblem. So we'll take this outside now because I think this is going to go outside. So if we're going to go outside, we're just going to go into that other door that we can't unlock. I think it would make sense to go outside. I guess that dog, that um, dog. I guess that zombie has gone back um, into that cu cupboard as well, back to its starting position. Which you know, that's not a problem because most of the zombies in the Resident Evil games go back to a like a, a bog standard reset position when you come and exit a room. And that's it. So, um, yeah, links are on screen. As I'll try and um, include some stuff down below. Like I say, it is early alpha, so I'm not going to be overly critical of um, you know, game mechanics. All of that sort of stuff will get tweaked up, but um, it looks very nice indeed. It's very promising, um, and, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I look forward to seeing more um, releases, demos, and stuff that... Um, comes out in the near future thank you very much for watching this guys I know it's been a little bit different than normal but i hope you enjoyed it as well um let me know your thoughts on it and until next time i've been knock you've been awesome see ya maybe if i can stop <laughs>